friends this is Carmen welcome back to my channel today I want to share with you the last in my series of DIY weddings with using succulents and I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas for favors and some ideas for uh, centerpieces I'm using things that I've had around the house that I've collected over the years in um, from thrift stores, from garage sales, estate sales. So it's very easy to incorporate those items into your wedding favors, bridal shower favors, or centerpieces. The favors that I have here are teacups that I've had for my collection. This is a plate that I glued on to a cup I use some E6000 and it makes a wonderful pedestal for um, pastries, cookies, things like that, or you can also put some of your favors on there. This little Coca-Cola bottle I actually got at the uh, Dollar Tree and they were 50 cents each. I thought that was a really whimsical way of um, doing a favor, something really um, out of the ordinary. And I hadn't seen that size of Coca-Cola uh, glass also. This one here, the favor, the succulent rather, is left in its little pot where I, that I bought it in, but I used scrapbook paper, double-sided scrapbook paper, to cut out a template to wrap around each of the succulents. And this is the template I, I used here. I'll leave a link to the PDF file down below. And basically what I did was I had a book of scrapbook paper that's eight by eight. The key is using double-sided, so print on both sides. This is actually from a uh, Tim Holtz collection that I had and one paper, one sheet of paper will do for two pieces. You simply cut it out and wrap it around the, um, the succulent pot. And I simply just taped it, but you can definitely glue it or add a ribbon. And it's a great way for people to pick up the favor and it adds a nice little touch to it also. Now this sign here is one that I design. It's part of a set that I sell on my Etsy shop. They're instant downloads. And there's a total of five different signs that you can use for your bridal shower, for your event, for your wedding reception. And they're all designed around this succulent theme. So I'll leave the link to that below in, my, in the description box. But this is one way that you can use favors for a tea party, very vintage style of look. Now for the centerpieces, I used some milk glass um, bowls that I had in my collection already. And these are cuttings that I had. I think the only one that I actually did go out and purchase was this little bunny ears cactus there. I wanted something just a little bit different texture um, and some cacti along with the succulents there. The little top dressing of the white rocks I got at the Dollar Tree was one little bag for, uh, for a dollar but definitely was enough. I still have plenty left over and I used it on the favors and on the centerpieces. And I had this burlap runner and white linen to kind of give you a look of the display. This is also a little bird cage. This was already on my table from my spring decor. The bird cage I got at Hobby Lobby along with the little bird. And the little egg that's in there is a little wooden egg that a cousin of mine painted. So that's very special to me but it's one way that you can incorporate things from around your house into displays. If you're having a bridal shower, um, if you're having the reception at your home or even a small reception, you can use things from around the house, start collecting things from thrift stores 
and put a whole look together. Okay friends, I've changed it out a little bit, left a couple of the favors there and the sign and the bird cage, just to kind of show you how changing out just a few pieces can give you a totally different look. I've gone more for a galvanized uh, and burlap look here, but also incorporating some glass too. Now this galvanized bucket here I got at the Dollar Tree and although it's very deep what i did was down at the bottom i put some packing peanuts and then the soil actually starts about here or so so i wasn't wasting a whole lot of soil in filling up that um, very deep bucket and to take advantage of the height of it i also added some string of uh, beads and string of bananas. And then to continue the height, I have a um, Portrait of Cara Afro variegated and some Senecio chalk fingers there. So, you know, you can do a look like this very inexpensively with just some cuttings, some rosettes, a Dollar Tree bucket. And I have it just sitting on an enamel um, pastry dish that I got at Hobby Lobby. And to cover that up, I just use a little linen napkin that I had. The runner continues with the um, burlap look. And the burlap look continues here with this ribbon and lace uh, on it. Now this is a glass container that I got at Dollar Tree. I did put, let me show you there, I did put some rocks at the bottom and the soil starts about here and then added in the cuttings. And that way um, you can not have to use a whole lot of uh, soil and if your guest takes one of these homes they can continue watering them sparingly with um, not much worry of it getting any type of root rot because there's pebbles at the bottom to help with the drainage. And I have a round one up here with the same look. I have the pebbles down at the bottom, the soil, and then the ribbon around it to bring it all together with the um, uh, burlap. Now this candle stand is one that I had actually in my bedroom. It's got a tin look to it which brings in the galvanized look there and I had painted it with some chalk paint and gave it some uh, dark wax to give it that distressed look. Took the candle off of it and I'm using it to prop up this uh, succulent arrangement and that will give height onto your centerpiece table. So these are all pieces that you can incorporate together into your centerpiece, whether it be a bridal shower or a wedding reception. And um, for very little money, Dollar Tree items, cuttings from your own garden or uh, rosettes from Mountain Crest Gardens, all very inexpensive for you to put together. And also, if you want some signs, I'll, again, I'll leave you the link down below to my Etsy shop where this is just one design that I have. I have several different designs with flowers, different colored flowers, um, so something for everyone, something for every taste. So th this just shows you guys how you can incorporate beautiful things into your event, into your bridal shower, into your wedding reception for very little money. Hope you enjoyed this, friends. If you did, please do leave a comment below and letting me know if you're incorporating any of these suggestions or tutorials into an event that you have coming up. And if you enjoyed them, please do give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much, friends. Appreciate all your support. Have a blessed day.